Hi, and welcome to the Destin Business Forum brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and today I have with me Andrew Fisher, who is the general manager, and Jarvis Jones, who is the head chef at Brotula's Seafood House and Steamer Restaurant. Correct? Correct. Yeah, correct. Good job. Okay, so Andrew, tell us um, a little bit about what Jarvis is going to be doing today, or Jarvis, you can tell us. Well, today I'm going to be making uh, one of our most favorite dishes on our menu. It's called the Floridian Grouper. It comes with a uh, orzo, chorizo, uh, pasta salad. It has a uh, mozzarella, fresh basil, and uh, grape tomatoes in it with uh, olive oil and salt and pepper. And uh, you can get our Floridian grouper blackened or grilled. Today I'm going to be blackening it. And we get all of our fish fresh and it's locally caught and we have fish tracks for it so you can track where you got your fish from. Oh, that sounds cool. What is, well, Andrew, can you explain that a little bit to me? What is? Yeah, so basically what the fish tracks is, um, each piece of fish gets the fish tracks, which are stabbing the fish upon presentation to the, to the customer. Um, basically right here we have a, a barcode for any smartphone can snap a picture of it, or you can just simply enter in the website address and you can enter in your lot number. And specifically what pops up is the Google map of the Gulf of Mexico and it pops up, shows you where your fish was caught, gives a bio of the captain, as well as the boat, so that we can actually prove that your fish is caught fresh and served to you right out of the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, you can actually prove it. You don't just say it. You're like, here, here's, the, here's the proof. That, we I love that. We encourage every guest to log, to log in and check it out because it literally shows them exactly where it was caught. That's if they right. wanted to, they can go out there and catch their own fish again if they wanted to. Yes, That's and uh, we did that with partnership with uh, Aerial Seafood. And, okay. uh, that's in Florida. They, right. they are the ones we get the fish tracks from. All right, I know we're on a short time schedule, so right. Jarvis, well, if you want to go started. ahead and get started, um, feel free to interject what you're doing. I'm going to ask Andrew, since we sort of jumped into what was going on. Andrew, can you just tell us a little bit about the restaurant, the history, and what you're all about? Absolutely. Uh, Rotulas is located on Harbor Boulevard, specifically 210 Suite D, which is the old Fisherman's Wharf building. We are a sister restaurant of Jack Akuta's, which is located in the okay. Harbor Walk Village. Uh, our owners, Tyler Jarvis and Chef Rian, uh, longtime locals in Destin, mm -hmm. um, put together these restaurants, have been, in, have been in the restaurant business for a long time. So this is second nature for these gentlemen. Um, basically what we do is we focus on steamed and local uh, fresh seafood. Uh, we also provide you know, chicken, you know, burgers, things like that for the land lovers. Gotcha. Um, we try to really focus on the freshness of our local produce and our local fish. Uh, with the owners being local, um, they essentially want to captivate that for a lot of our guests. Um, again, we just try to provide the best you know, service. There's a lot of restaurants in Destin. We try to set ourselves apart by you know, doing the fish tracks, fresh seafood, and just try to continue giving the best service as possible. I know just personally when I go to a restaurant, I can really tell a difference between like, let's say the tomatoes. If they say we get our tomatoes from local mm -hmm. farmers versus someone that says, oh, I'm not sure where we get ours from, you know, it's not local. And there is, one has a taste to it and the other one does not, that, you know, I find. So I think that's awesome that you do all, all local. Jarvis, you look like you want to say something. Well, uh, you can definitely tell the difference between frozen and fresh fish. Like uh, the texture is different. Like, um, you're gonna tell the difference after I cook it and you, and you try it. It's, okay. it's really, it really is locally caught. Oh, I know, you can prove it with the tracks. Okay, so tell us what you're doing right now. You're just? Uh, I'm just searing it now, trying to get like a nice crust on it. And then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna put some garlic herb butter on top of it to give it like a, a sweet taste to it. And then after that, I'm gonna plate it up and see what it goes, how it goes. All right, I know you're making this. This is one of the most popular dishes at your restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Is this your favorite? Uh, no, ma'am. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite to make is the Captain's Choice. Okay. It comes with a uh, creamy risotto, and we use like seasonal vegetables. One day we might use mushrooms. One day we might use asparagus, and it gets uh, sautéed squash zucchini with crab meat, and uh, you have your choice of sauce. That's why I call it Captain's Choice. So gotcha. You get to pick what sauce you want. We have Cajun butter, uh, passion fruit butter sauce, balsamic, and garlic herb butter sauce. And do you make all of those? Yes, ma'am. From scratch. Uh. Ah, that sounds delicious. Um, all right, while that's cooking, um, Andrew, why don't you tell me about, I know you have some wine tasting, is that a new? Right, uh, just, just recently with the season coming to an end, we really wanted to focus on a lot of the locals and what we can provide. So Yay. at the end of the month, every, every month, 
uh, we'll be hosting wine tastings. Uh, this week we're with McNeese Wine, which is a local distributor out of the Panhandle. Um, what we're going to offer is uh, the, the wine tasting uh, with small bites, you know, little hors d'oeuvres, things sure. like that. And it's basically going to be uh, an opportunity for a lot of locals to come together, give them a reason, obviously, to drink, which we all need <laughs> one. Yeah. Um, yes, we need it, a reason. But it also gives us the opportunity to come together as a, uh, as a lo local community um, to showcase our restaurant, our wines, to educate them a little bit if they didn't know too much about wine. So they can bring it with them should they decide to come to our restaurant or other restaurants. Gotcha. But then also to, uh, to show them our restaurant and the harbor along with, you know, just hanging out and having a good time. So you have a pretty nice view on the back, don't you? We have a 180 <laughs> degree panoramic view of the harbor. Uh, we have one of the best views, I think, in Destin. We're right there located at the fishing fleet where they all come in and they bring their fresh catch. So people can sit out on the balcony, they can look at the captains bringing in their boats, people can drive by on water skis, parasailing, everything. You can be eating your fish and say, my fish came <laughs> from there. Probably not too long ago. And we also are a, a steamer and a boil house. So we have three different kind of boils. You can get a beer boil, okay. an Asian boil, or a Cajun boil. The Cajun boil is kind of spicy. The beer boil, if you want to get a little tipsy while you eat your. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's made mainly with beer, or is that? Uh, yes, ma'am. OK. Uh, it depends on what beer we want. We try to switch it up so we have different flavors. OK. Um, we put mustard seeds in it and uh, spicy um, Cajun boil sauce in it. So like we're trying to switch it up. And uh, if you scared of that, you can just get anything, any platter steam. Oh, that sounds good for all the healthy people. Right. Okay. All right, tell me what's in the Asian boil. Uh, in the Asian boil, there's a uh, kombu, uh, dashi, uh, a little bit of sake, um, and we cut uh, lemons, onions, and uh, celery, and we put it in there. And we put a couple Cajun spice bags in there to spice it up a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I like the Asian boil a lot, actually. Yeah, that sounds really, really good. Okay, we are almost out of time. So, um, Andrew, you have Sunday Fun Day. Tell me what that is. Uh, well, should it need any kind of definition? Because <laughs> Sunday Fun Day in itself is what it well. is. Well. Um, we have a bottomless mimosa that we offer everybody that comes in all day. Um, also, I don't know how many places here locally uh, offer the all-you-can-eat snow crab, but we have that wow. starting at 11 a.m. We open our doors up until 5 o'clock. So as long as you're sitting by 5, you should be, you know, pretty all right. If there's ever a problem, just come and ask for me, and I'll make sure you get that. So bottomless mimosas bottomless and all-you-can-eat snow crabs. All you can Sounds eat snow like crab. Sunday is mm -hmm. my and favorite day. We also day. have a brunch menu that we offer up until 2 o'clock p.m., um, and then we also have high-dollar house margaritas as well as... Um, uh, Bloody Marys as well. All right. Um, Jarvis, are we close to being done? Because I am almost out of time. I don't know if we're going to yeah. be able to see the finished product, but if we can't, we can at least see all the yummy stuff you're putting in there. I apologize about that. I got, got lost track of time. I don't think we're going to be able to get to it today. I'm sorry. That's okay. So just tell me what you put in. You put in some shrimp and. Uh, I put in a 2630 shrimp. I blacken it and I uh, got. We put three crab claws on top of the, the Floridian grouper, and whenever we plate it, it goes uh, orzo, uh, caprese salad, the fish, and then we put the shrimp on top, and then we just stab the uh, crab claws in the middle. And the, um, the fish tracks. And then the fish track. All yes. right, we are out of time. I did not get to read our upcoming events. You can see those on the screen. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you come back for the next Destin Business Forum. See you then.